Lou Gehrig uncorked the sizzling single. But these Japanese fans are good sports. Since Major League Baseball's inception, over 20,000 players have graced the pinnacle of the sport. Very few have stretched the imagination of the game into the realms of the unbelievable and extraordinary. Shohei Otani is not only a once-in-a-generation player, but his impact and prowess cemented himself as a once-in-a-lifetime superstar. Many critics have compared his batting and pitching to that of the great Bambino and Bullet Rogan, but in modern times, no one has showcased Otani's anomalous and staggering skill set. His speed, strength, and stoicism set him above the rest. Standing at six foot four inches tall, the right-handed pitcher and left-handed batter is a unique individual that may never be witnessed again. Few people impact a sport in such a way that history is reevaluated contrasting the greats of a bygone era with the modern athlete to determine who demands the title of the greatest ever. This is the journey of baseball's most defining character, Shohei Otani. History suggests the origins of baseball date as far back as the 18th century, when English immigrants brought the adapted game of rounders and stool ball to the shores of Canada. The rules of the newly formed bat and ball game evolved throughout the next century, eventually settling with the basis of the modern rules, the so-called Knickerbocker rules. By the time of the Civil War, baseball had begun to overtake cricket in popularity within the United States, due in part to baseball being of a much shorter duration. By 1856, local journals referred to baseball as the United States National Game. By 1901, after a lengthy tussle by numerous associations for the governance of the sport, at a time when dozens of leagues popped up and just as quickly disbanded. Two had fortified their hold as major leagues and still stand to this day, the National and American Leagues. Horace Wilson, a veteran of the American Civil War who fought against the Confederates in Louisiana, is the man most credited with introducing the sport to the Japanese. After the war, the Empire of Japan tasked itself to modernize its education system through the Meiji Restoration. The Japanese looked overseas to assist in the restoration project, and Horace Wilson accepted their approach as an American Oya toy. Horace was hired as a foreign advisor and served as a professor of English at the Kaisei Academy, the antecedent to the Tokyo Imperial University. In the early 1870s, Horace concluded that his students needed more physical exercise and thus set in motion the birth of a new sport within the empire, baseball. The game was made accessible to children by integrating the sport into the physical education curriculum. And within five years, the first organized adult baseball team was formed. Professional baseball in Japan didn't materialize until the 1920s. Still, it was not until the 1930s that the sport found continued success, culminating in a high-profile matchup against an American all-star team that included the likes of Babe Ruth, Jimmy Fox, Lou Gehrig, and Charlie Gehringer. The fixture heightened the sport's popularity in the country, so much so that the first professional league was formed within a few years of the match, known later as Nippon Professional Baseball. The Japanese major leagues have long been considered the highest quality professional circuits outside the United States. 
The Japanese American Bowl Series opens at the Meiji Stadium before 65,000 with tickets from $5 to $25. Every Japanese has a yen for the game. St. Paul University's Honorable Nine, champions of the Tokyo League, led by Captain Sega Gucci. And their American rivals, led by Lou Gehrig, Al Simmons, and Mickey Cochran. Minister Ryuzo Tanaka throws the first ball. Lou Gehrig uncorks a sizzling single. The game's going bad for the local boys, but these Japanese fans are good sports. And Gehrig gets another hit, a two-bagger. The Honorable Frankie Krish comes home. The score is seven to nothing, and now the Japanese reach second. Nineteen sixty-four. Having had a period of success pitching for the Nankai Hawks, Masanori Murakami was sent to Fresno, California as an exchange student to trial with the Giants minor league team. That name holds significance in the progression of Japanese baseball. September 1st, 1964. The San Francisco Giants neglected to send the relief pitcher back to Japan, instead promoting him to the first team. Although his tenure on American soil was short-lived, Murakami became the first Japanese player to play in the major leagues. Despite taking nearly 30 years for the next Japanese import, the signing paved the way for many superstars to follow in his footsteps. Throughout the years, Japanese players have had a meaningful presence in the major leagues. The first Japanese Yankee to hit a grand slam in his first home game was Hideki Matsui. He was also the first Japanese player to hit a postseason home run and was nicknamed Godzilla for terrorizing pitchers. Ichiro Suzuki, the imported sensation who secured an MVP and Rookie of the Year title, went on to average 200 plus hits a season for 10 straight seasons. From Hideo Nomo's modern trailblazing, to Yuihara's MVP honors, to Iwakuma's no-hitter, Japan's influence in Major League Baseball is irrefutable, but none mentioned have surpassed the initial impact of the two-way prodigy Shohei Otani in their baptismal years overseas. If he keeps on the trajectory he's riding, Shohei will not only become the greatest ever Japanese player, but will be considered the greatest of all time. Kayoko and Toru Otani lived in Oshu, a city within the second largest prefecture in Japan, located in the northeast of the country. On July 5, 1994, Shohei was born, the first of three children. Growing up in Japan, Otani was known as a yaku shonen, a phrase that translates to baseball boy, a kid who orders his life around the game. He received lessons from his father and began playing baseball in his second year of elementary school. Otani's inherent talent for baseball at a young age was evident. In seventh grade, Otani recorded all but one of 18 outs in a six-inning regional championship game. Otani's natural ability enabled him to play for any dominant high school team across the major cities of Japan. But given the freedom from his parents to choose his high school, Otani opted to remain local, electing to play for Hanamaki Higashi High School in the Iwate Prefecture. Chosen in part due to his admiration for Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Yusei Kikuchi, who attended the same high school, Kikuchi's rise to success was a journey he wanted to emulate. Shohei had dreams of entering Major League Baseball out of high school, a feat that had never been achieved. A gifted athlete, Otani also competed in swimming events. He was such a strong swimmer that his coach stated that he could have made the Olympics. 
To attain optimal performance, Otani never ate junk food, nor entertained the idea of entering a relationship, limited his own screen time, and was assigned toilet cleaning chores to teach a measure of humility, an important value in Japanese culture. In total dedication, he devoted most of his time to honing his skills, both as a pitcher and batter. At just 14 years old, Otani stood over six feet and could register 87 miles per hour on his fastball. But the coach opted not to use him as a pitcher, choosing instead not to rush his development. By the age of 15, he was recording speeds of 95 miles per hour. At this young age, coupled with the intensity of his throws and a developing body, Otani was susceptible to joint injuries. Issues with his growth plates soon led to a reduction in his pitching. Shohei was a relatively unknown figure as a junior baseball player for Hanamaki Higashi High School, but one pitch would change that, putting Otani on every scout's radar. July 20th, 2012. <laughs> Morphing into a different beast and able to control his pitches more often, Otani released a fastball that broke the record for any high school pitch. 160 kilometers per hour, equating to 100 miles per hour. He had left an indelible mark that wouldn't go unnoticed. Breaking free from the mold of an ordinary amateur baseballer, the young pioneer was proof you could succeed as a two-way player. To attain his lofty ambitions of joining an MLB team out of high school, Shohei told every Japanese team not to draft him. Every team but one acknowledged his wish, the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. Shohei received interest from the Texas Rangers, Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees, and the Los Angeles Dodgers. But the fighters were determined to sign the young prodigy and drafted him in the 2012 Nippon Pro Draft. Knowing that there was a high probability of rejection, the team went about convincing the player to stay on home soil. At the age of 18, facing the realities of spending much of his time on the road through a country he wasn't familiar with, coupled with the promise of starring as a two-way player for the fighters, a role that wasn't warranted by his prospective US teams, dissuaded Otani from voyaging overseas. Similar to the progression of the great Bambino, Babe Ruth, who started in the minor leagues as a two-way player, if Otani or Babe were made to drop one of their talents, who knows if they'd have turned into the giants of the game they are known as today. Twenty thirteen. Shohei Otani turned professional. As a rookie at 18 years old, Otani became the second player in history drafted out of high school to be used as both a pitcher and outfielder, succeeding Kikuo Tokunaga in 1951. But his season was fraught with injury, spending time in the dugout with a cheekbone fracture and right ankle sprain. 2014. Otani's impact in his first full season was undeniable. As a pitcher, his average of 10.4 strikeouts per nine innings was the best in the league. The year saw Otani become the first pitcher out of high school since 1967 to achieve a one to nothing shutout within his first two years. Shohei's fastball was steadily increasing in speed. Stadium radar guns clock one pitch at 101 miles per hour. The throw, which shattered the bat upon impact, tied Otani for the fastest pitch in an official Nippon Pro game, an achievement that he replicated in the All-Star Series that same year. As a batter, he became the first Japanese player to reach double digits in both home runs and wins. His record-breaking season was soon followed by the pinnacle of any baseball player, a call-up to his national team. 2015. 
Although his offensive stats stagnated, smashing only five home runs, his pitching was amongst the best in the league and a personal career high. Otani finished the season with the highest win percentage and most wins, with a record of 15 to five in 22 starts, pitching five complete games with three shutouts and 196 strikeouts with an average of 11 per nine innings, put himself on the short list for the league's most valuable player. 2016. Otani carried his dominance into the next season, concluding with 22 home runs and 382 plate appearances, and 174 strikeouts in 140 innings, cemented his status as the league's best. Otani received 253 of the 254 first place votes from fellow players for the league's most valuable player award. With ease, he secured the most coveted individual award in Japanese baseball. Otani continued to make history by winning the Pacific League's Best Nine Award for both pitching and as a designated hitter. This feat had never been achieved before after the rules were modified to allow a pitcher to receive votes for the designated hitter award, a rule change that had Otani in mind. During the five years he spent with the fighters, Otani lived in the team's dormitories away from his family, leaving his parents to oversee his finances, which included the initial 30 million yen salary, eventually rising to 100 million. In Japan, the increased salary made him the second player out of high school to reach 100 million yen in his third year as a professional. Shohei's mother endeavored to develop a fiscal awareness and humble mindset and deposited only $1,000 a month into his bank account, an important lesson in the materialistic microcosm of the modern sporting world, one that he carried with him. September 2017. Otani triggered a long-awaited move to the United States, formally asking to be posted at the end of the season to Major League Baseball, in time to feature in the 2018 season. Before contractual talks could be initiated, Otani had to undergo surgery for a recurring right ankle injury, one that ruled him out of the World Baseball Classic while also hindering playing time during his final season. November 2017, Major League and Nippon Pro Baseball entered the final stages of an agreement for his departure. Due to being under 25 years old, his signing was subject to international rules, meaning he was restricted to a rookie's salary and any bonus would be capped at three and a half million dollars. Otani brought the curtains down on his career in Japan and agreed to a contract with the Los Angeles Angels. His preferred team back in 2012, when his initial dreams of playing overseas evaporated. December 2017, four days on from finally attaining his dream, it was announced that Otani had suffered from a first-degree UCL sprain in his right elbow and received a platelet-rich plasma injection to treat it. But that wouldn't halt the two-way prodigy's path to prominence. 2018. In April, he struck out six batters in six innings, only allowing three runs, and picked up his first win. He hit his third home run in three days, becoming the first Angels rookie to do so. And on his second visit to the mound, Otani almost pitched a perfect game through six and a half innings before allowing one hit. Having pushed the boundaries of his body, scans had revealed the sprain in his right elbow had returned. But Otani wasn't finished with sending shockwaves through the baseball world. After returning in the summer, he hammered two home runs in one fixture, his first career multiple home run game, and his first two home runs on the road. However, his injury woes reappeared in the autumn. More serious than before, Otani underwent Tommy John surgery on his newly damaged UCL. His standout debut season on American soil had turned heads, 
as he was named the American League's Rookie of the Year. Shohei was showing the league what he was made of, heart, speed, and power. Though his injuries highlighted some fragility, he ended his first season with 22 home runs, 61 RBIs, and 10 stolen bases. He became the second fastest Angels rookie to reach 20 home runs and joined the famed Babe Ruth in being the only two players in history with 10 visits to the mound and 20 home runs in a single season. His accolades proved he was a force to be reckoned with. Can he break it now with only two games left? He does it. Sets a record not to be broken for decades. Unbelievable, but true. That's Babe Ruth at his prime. And there's enough of him for everybody. But the best of them all was Babe Ruth. When he wrapped his hands around a bat and got his feet set right, great things could happen. Twenty nineteen. Otani missed the Angels' first thirty four games through recovery. Looking to protect the rising star, the Angels withheld any appearances on the mound during the twenty nineteen season. Under stormy conditions and limited to just batting, the Trailblazer continued to rewrite history. Not even a power outage at Tropicana Field could stop Otani's impact. Otani took to the plate and hit a three-run homer in the first inning. 1-1. One, one. Kiermaier going back and at the wall. Gone! Followed by a double in the third. Shohei on his way to second. He's got himself a double. Home run and a double, so he's halfway to the cycle, Gooby. Followed further by a triple in the fifth. This one into the right field corner. See if he can get a triple out of it. And we're almost at the cycle. Shohei then struck a single in the seventh. Flair out to right center field. There's a base hit. And Shohei Otani has just hit for the cycle. The single secured Otani's name in baseball lore, becoming the first Japanese player, eighth Angels player, and sixth ever designated hitter in history to hit a complete cycle. But Otani would go on to feature in only 106 games before prematurely ending his season through injury. His speed and striking power, although aiding his ability to hit home runs, were detrimental to his joints, as it was revealed that he needed surgery to repair a bipartite kneecap. Twenty twenty. Otani continued to face adversity through injury. A scheduled return to the mound in July was short-lived, having experienced more discomfort in his right elbow in just his second start since 2018. A flexor strain ruled him out from returning to the mound for the rest of the season. From a disappointing 2019 season to what Otani described as a pathetic 2020, led him to feeling useless and frustrated, a feeling he'd never experienced in his career. Twenty twenty one. Otani spent the off season remodeling his preparation for the season to come, tinkering with his diet and bullpen sessions through facing a live pitcher, while also embracing more technology and data optimized his comeback. The Angels lifted the Otani rules they'd carried over from his time in Japan a set of rules that limited his pitching to once a week and batting practice to four times between starts. 
Otani wasn't held back and exhibited his freedom by hitting his 32nd home run of the year in July, breaking the record for the most home runs hit during a season by any Japanese-born player. He was selected as both a pitcher and positional player for the All-Stars, making it a first in history. With the shackles off, he could expose his capabilities. By the end of August, he became the first Japanese-born player and the first player in Angels history to smash and steal 40 home runs and 20 bases in the same season. Otani dispensed fear into rival pitchers, forcing many to walk him to first base. Finishing the season, Otani led the American League in intentional walks with 20, the most by an American League player since his teammate Trout in 2018. He ended the season as runner-up in home runs with 46 and became the first player in MLB history to have at least 45 homers, 25 stolen bases, 100 RBIs, 100 runs and eight triples in a season. Showtime had arrived and was here to stay. His groundbreaking season led to unanimously receiving the most votes for the American League's most valuable player. But the awards and honors had only just begun. He made the list of Time 100's most influential people, won the Silver Slugger Award, Sporting News Athlete of the Year, Baseball Digest's Player of the Year, the Player's Choice Player of the Year Award, and the American League's Outstanding Player Award. Humble as he is, Otani rejected a national honor, the People's Honor Award, from the Prime Minister of Japan, stating it was still too early for such an accolade. Otani's number, along with the colors of his jersey, shone brightly in Tokyo, lighting up one of their famous landmarks. Otani's 2021 season will go down in history as one of the greatest and most influential seasons by a sportsman or woman in any discipline. March 2022. Now a significant influence in Major League Baseball, his existence was about to alter the rules of the sport. The rule change looked to incentivize teams to invest more in two-way players. Dubbed the Otani Rule, any pitcher who is also the designated hitter can remain in the batting lineup after being taken off the mound. He resumed where he'd left off, establishing new milestones at the pinnacle of the sport. On opening day, he became the first in Major League Baseball history to start as a pitcher and leadoff hitter. He was fast becoming the most influential Japanese-born player the league has ever witnessed. In only his fifth season, he slugged his first Grand Slam, surpassing the prodigious talent Ichiro Suzuki with the most multi-homer games. And in 1933, as in so many other seasons, Babe Ruth was the Sultan of Increasingly being mentioned in the same breath as Babe Ruth, Otani joined him as the only other pitcher in history to reach at least 100 home runs with 250 strikeouts. In a single game, where he set a career high in strikeouts and rose to second on the list of most home runs by a Japanese player, he also joined an exclusive two-person club. Otani mimicked Babe's once-in-a-lifetime accomplishment of 10 wins on the mound with at least 10 homers, a record that was set over 100 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's an honor here to present some of my trophies. I got about one-third of them here, and I wish you could see them all. I have one in my lap here for 1921. That's just 25 years ago, or, or will be pretty soon. I'll show you how it fits. It was made for my head, but I guess my head's got a little larger then. And this is the bat, the exact weight, and the exact length and everything that goes with it. 
I'm proud of that bat because it represents the bat I hit my 60 home runs with. For his second year in a row, Otani received enough votes from fans to start as both the starting designated hitter and as a pitcher. However, prioritizing the importance of his performance in the regular season, he refused to pitch. ま、October 2022. It wasn't just on-field records that were being broken. Off it, the Los Angeles Angels signed their phenomenon for a further year in a deal worth $30 million. The new record gave Otani the single largest salary raise of any arbitration eligible player. He pocketed over $24 million more than his $5.5 million salary for 2022, a fee that finally echoes the impact he continues to make. 2023. It is hard to imagine the cultural significance the Japanese national team has on its country. The 2023 team is widely considered the greatest in its entire history, headed by none other than Shohei Otani. Over 36 million fans tuned in to watch an exhibition game in the lead up to the 2023 World Baseball Classic. Shohei himself gained 2 million followers in a month during that period. In Japan, the World Classic craze reached epic proportions with an average of 40% of the entire country viewing every game. On Japanese broadcasts, their match versus South Korea was observed by over 55 million people. Japan's quarterfinal game against Italy drew in over 62 and a half million viewers, surpassing the most watched Major League Baseball World Series by nearly 8 million. Beating Mexico in the semifinals set up a mouthwatering fixture against the United States. This would be the most viewed baseball game of all time. With a 3-2 lead to Japan in the eighth inning, Otani warmed up to close in what would be the optimal and most fitting ending to any baseball game. After a double play, Otani faced his five-year-long Angels teammate Mike Trout deep into the ninth, captain versus captain. Impossible theater. The regal excellence of Japan, the overwhelming talent of the United States. And in a one-run game with two gone in the ninth inning, the dream matchup, Otani, Trout, 3-2. He struck him out. Otani strikes out Trout, and Japan's back on top of the baseball world. Otani's pitch went down in history as Japan became only the second team to remain unbeaten throughout the tournament. The win sealed a hero's welcome as they returned to their homeland. Off the back of being named MVP for his exploits in the World Baseball Classic, he persisted in his pursuit of perfection. Otani threw his 502nd career strikeout, overtaking the man he was being critically compared to, Babe Ruth, on the all-time career strikeout list. By June, he was leading the home run list, and not a month later, he smashed the furthest home run of his career, a 493-foot homer. That remained the record for 2023. 
Now a household name in the sport, his following from fans secured his place on the All-Star roster after receiving the most votes in the first phase of the American League ballot with 2,646,307 votes, a measure of his immense influence in the league. In August, his power and precision earned Otani the second Grand Slam of his career and 43rd of the season. However, his recurring arm fatigue would later be diagnosed as a collateral ligament tear in his right elbow. The serious injury ruled him out of pitching for the rest of the season and put in doubt any return to the mound until 2025. September 2023. Otani finished the season as a spectator having undergone surgery. Despite finishing the season a month early, he unanimously received the most votes to win his second American League's Most Valuable Player Award. No player throughout history has received two unanimous wins. After another standout season, Otani joined an exclusive club of 11 male athletes to win his second Associated Press Athlete of the Year Award. As the season ended and off-season began, all talk would center on the Japanese superstar. For the first time in his career, he could determine his future. The expired contract with the Angels made him a free agent and opened the door to dialogue with rival teams. December 11th, 2023. Otani sent shockwaves around the globe, setting a new bar in the world of sport. The Titan of baseball agreed to a deal with the LA Dodgers. After six impressive years, Otani swapped red for blue, joining the opposing Los Angeles outfit on a record smashing 10 year, $700 million deal. The deal was structured in such a fashion that Otani wouldn't see $68 million of his contract per year until its conclusion in 2043. The mammoth contract became the largest contract in professional sports history. Although it was spread over more years, the total amount surpassed the likes of Messi, Ronaldo, Mahomes, and almost doubles the next baseballer former teammate Mike Trout. いや、元々発表国ぐらいって言われてたと思うんですけど、1000億でしたね、10で。まあ、びっくりしました。ちょっとでも分けてもらいたいですけど。本当びっくりですけど、もうそれもなんかそれだけ評価される人が、あの、日